I am Jose Manuel García Lomas and Alan Perkins. In that video, a Bain Sales Techniques Part 5, we were dealing with selling benefits, which follow gathering information or qualification. Today, we deal with rational arguments methodology. And we develop a dynamic system with different participants of the group who had the denomination of the DAPA argumentation technique, the DAPA method. And what is DAPA? And what is the meaning of the acronym D point A point P point A point? The D of DAPA means that you have to start with the idea of define the needs, problems, desires, concerns, dissatisfaction, taste, whims, etc., etc., of the customer through a structure dialogue between the salesman and customer with that objective. The first A of DAPA means that it is necessary to obtain the A of acceptance on the part of the client, of the system, of those needs, problems, desires, worries, dissatisfaction, etc., etc., previously defined. Now I would be able to present to my client the characteristics transformed into advantages and this in turn transformed into benefits of my products and services which will adjust to the needs and problems previously defined and accepted by the client. Now there is the second part, the PA of DAPA. DAPA's P is the proof of the benefit of our offer and proposal of which we have already spoken. And the second A of DAPA refers to how to get the client's acceptance of the validity of the given proof. When the sales professional has made a good DAPA with the client, things are tired and well tired because we have been able to demonstrate to the client that have the solution to their problems. And with that, we have achieved something really important, transformed the highly qualified way of selling into a problem-solving system, which is the DAPA argumentation technique. Let's talk about the FAB system, features, advantages, benefits. That is to say, we enter into a new system of argumentation, where starting from the characteristics, features of our products and services, we are going to transform them into advantages for the client and these advantages in turn we are going to transform them into benefits, solution to the measure of the needs of the client. In order to do this, the first thing to do is to define clearly what are characteristics, what are the advantages, and what are benefits? Characteristics, aspect, specifications, qualities of our products, ideas, services, measures, suggestion, proposition, etc., etc., of our offer. The characteristics describe the particularities of our product, of our offer. And the characteristics answer the questions what is it? What does it have? Now let's define the advantages. The advantages explain how the features can be used. The advantages answer the questions what it does, what does it make, how does it work, what are these characteristics for, and then we will transform advantages into benefits, knowing that the benefits transform advantages into one or more purchase motivations or customer wishes. 
benefits, answer the questions, what does it bring to the customer, what will it mean to the customer, how will it benefit the customer, and a good way to start giving benefits is to use the word you. To give this methodology of argumentation an eminently practical approach, I propose the following exercise. First, define one of our products or services which we wish to present, sell, to a specific client. Second, establish a framework of that supposed client giving a flash of the client, a brief description of the situation of that client, where we are going to include his needs already supposedly defined. Third, knowing the customer's framework, which his need and the product and services that we are going to present him, sell him, we are going to apply our methodology starting from the most significant characteristics, transforming them into advantages, and then in turn transforming them into benefits, benefits that go out to the encounter of the purchase motivations or wishes of the client, and that are going to satisfy the different eight primary motivations that we define in one of our first videos denominated motivations, leadership and the eight primary motivations. Because behind all human needs are the various primary motivations that underline the human acts. Remember, motivation is the final reason for human behavior. Now if you like, stop the video and take some time to develop this interesting exercise of characteristics, advantages and benefits for the solution of our customers' problems and needs. In the next videos, we will continue deepening and deciphering the world of advanced sales techniques. If you find our videos interesting, I suggest that you give a like and you subscribe.